to demonstrate today uh, turning, parallel turning. Oh. Hello, skiers, and uh, welcome to another edition of Shrek Ski. Thank you to Tatiana Daniels behind the camera there. So today we're going to talk about a little bit of what I just did on this steep slope on Osvaldi Mountain up here at beautiful Cabin Creek at the very last day in March of 2021. So we're talking about how do you uh, gracefully parallel turn in control. So parallel turning, let me give a positive first, is it's a very safe, easy way uh, with very minimal impact on the knees, that's important to me, um, to come down a steep hill. It's particularly a narrow hill where there's a track on one side and, and a cliff on the other and you need to make quick, sharp turns, but you do not want to snow plow. You can snow plow, it's safe, but it's hard on the knees. So the, the, the key to learning to parallel turn is, first step, we, we plant the basket. So, so I like to plant the basket well ahead of, of where I normally would plant. So the right plant is about right there. And I think of that as the center of my arc or center of my circle as where my skis are gonna come around. So my skis are gonna come around that. So putting the basket here already puts me in a too late position. I want my basket to be further ahead, uh, forward. That's step one. Step two is you just think about doing a hopping stop. So I'm going to pretend I'm on, on, on skates. I'm going to do a hockey stop. I'm going to put the pole down and I'm going to go from down to up and slide. Okay, so that, so that, so that going down to up smoothly, that unweights a bit, at least the center part of your camber of your ski, so that I can easily slide the tail of my ski around. So my skis are are on the uphill edge so that I can edge but not too much <clears throat> just enough and then that and I modulate that so they're going to be if if the left ski is slightly uphill or the left knee is up the right knee is up they're going to be parallel it's like they have a, a a bar between the two so when one knee goes up the other knee goes up so we're going to be um, having same angle angulation of the skis on the snow, but slightly different pressure. So, be, so the downhill ski is going to have, say, 60, 70 percent of your body weight, and obviously the uphill ski is going to have the balance. So, 60, 40, 70, 30 is going to give you more control than 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 the than vice versa. Okay. So the first step is to progression is to learn how to do a nice hockey stop, and then we'll link hockey stop to hockey stop. We won't stop in between. You want me to show you what that looks like? Yep, okay. absolutely. I would like. I would love to. Maybe just start from here and go down. Beautiful, sunny. Because okay. Mm -hmm. 